Al hiyo. Hello, hello. This is Sarah, your local punk style. And right now I'm just swapping scenes. Swapping scenes, swapping scenes. But yes. Your local postal is back, and we're playing a different kind of game today. Also, if I mute myself today, which I most likely will, it's probably the cough, because I swear I can't get rid of the stupid cough. I seem to be doing better now that I'm actually talking, but I swear I'm just like in my own little silence. It it just goes. Also, I gotta clear my throat. Give me a second. I'm not gonna make y'all listen to that either. But if you're curious, yes, there is no sound. But that is literally just because this this menu just does not have me have any music, which is why I put on some music just to quickly let everyone know what's going on. So today we're playing Until Dawn, which is a game I have had in my PS4 collection for a very, very long time. Wait. Sorry, I moved my PS4 controller. I thought I just got mo random motion controls for doing that. Nope, nope, never mind. I... That's just me being paranoid. I thought I just got random rumble. <laughs> but yes, we're playing Until Dawn. I've heard about this game. I don't know everything about this game. I've seen a little bit, but very minor. So this will be a very interesting experience. Probably going to just do a one playthrough on stream, and then that's probably it for it. Like, I know there's multiple paths. There's multiple endings because of, like, people dying and surviving. I do know about that, so... I am aware, but otherwise, this will be a very interesting experience. I've been told this game's very good. I know these guys have made sequels after, well, not sequels to this game, but have made like other games, kind of like the same thing. So they've made a whole bunch. So this isn't like their their only gem. So if I really, really like it, I can always play the other ones because it's like Man of Eden or something. And then there's like another one. But I think that one was a collection of stories, or at least I was told there was like a collection of like mini stories or something like that. I don't remember. It, it's been many years for this series of games, so I'm not too sure. All I know is that they're all decent in their own way. But yeah, it's time to play the video game and get myself on the correct screen and turn the music off. And yeah, cause I don't, I'm not gonna need that. I probably, at least I shouldn't even though just because of my organization on my Elgato is not the greatest. But yeah, it's time to start the video game. And hopefully the audio on this game is good because I tested it on other games. So it, like it has actual audio. A butterfly effect. Also, hopefully the audio is good. This is about the same range as like when I play DVD and stuff, so I'm assuming it's fine. It's hard to tell in my headset because it doesn't get exactly get the loudest with these kind of games. Decisions make a path. I've never played one of these kind of games before. I wouldn't have known that. Darn, thank you. Good thing it's letting me know early. Choose carefully, or you will die. Also, I did put on subtitles, so there should be subtitles. Because I'm gonna miss here too. Oh, it's a godsend. Subtitles are a very beautiful thing. Yep, yep. Nice place so far. Oh, not, not so nice friend. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Shh, shh, shh. Did you guys think this is a little bit Oh, come on. She deserves it. And it's not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl and just because you know, Who's going to die first? <laughs> Anybody wearing red? <laughs> oh, you're gonna die first. Oh, no, maybe you'll die first. <laughs> I 
Oh, are you dying first? Don't need to be here. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. Oh wait, am I controlling this now? Yes, I am. Get the knife. Get the knife. Give give me a knife. Give me a knife. Is there a random knife? Can I can I just have a random knife? Hey, bud. Yo, bud, wake up. Wake up, we got a video game to play. Or what about you? Wake up. Wake up. What about here? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Go back. Pick up the note. I know, you look so damn hot in that <laughs> But I bet you're even... Oh my goodness. Winky face. Winky face. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Winky face. Winky face. I got your note. Glad you could make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know. Make You're such a out. dick, cause they're literally setting her up. Oh hell yeah! As soon as she takes it off, they're all gonna show up, and that's so mean. Oh my god, she's taking her shirt off. Yep. Oh my god, Matt, what are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, this all gotta be just a stupid prank. Uh. Jerks. You're Hannah. assholes. Holy shit. Hannah. Go fuck yourselves. I want you all to die. <laughs> wow, they're dicks. Wow. Huh? Oh. Ah, oh, we're finding others. We're just gonna go wake up Josh. Screw them. Josh. Josh. Fuck. Or he's just knocked Guys. out. Fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. It's just a prank. We're gonna blackmail her. Oh just my just God, you're dicks. Yeah, serious. You jerks. Hannah. Hannah. So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Oh, shit. Uh oh. Oh my goodness! I actually have to look at the controller. Actually, I have to remember buttons. Uh, fast? Hello? We're saving this girl. Keep doing fast. Um, which one's the fast? Uh... All the footprints. But Prince would be more likely. Ah, shit. Jesus fuck, shit. Uh oh. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? Don't be dead. Don't be dead. Don't be dead, please, don't be dead. Don't be dead. 
Please don't be dead. Hannah! Hannah, please be alive. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's sick. That is... Okay, I love... I love controls like that. Like... They're not necessary, but they're, like, neat. Oh, hello. I'd rather walk faster, thank you. I might be missing a note, but... We're gonna go find her. We're gonna save her. Wait. What's this? R2. Oh, fuck. Death totem. What's a death totem? Death, guidance, loss, danger, and fortune. Totem prophecies. Black death. The possible death of the person who finds it. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. Oh, there's no point applying that yet. It's literally just the beginning. All I know is, um, I could die right now? Creepy. Creepy. Where have we got one? And I don't die. And I no die. Please no die. You didn't deserve that. Why is there a flamethrower up there? That was a flamethrower. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Oh, thank goodness you're alive. No, no, Hannah, you're gonna be okay. No, 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 we're getting you out of here. Fast path, fast path, fast path, path. <laughs> go, 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 we don't care about the phone, just go. Go, go, go. Oh, fuck. Oh, she's gonna die. This is literally the death path. Hold on, Hold on please. Hold on. Take his hand. I'd rather let go than... Drop Hannah. Ah! I guess we both die either way then, right? Fuck. I don't want to let her go. That was such a stupid prompt. It's literally, I die. Or I die. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that is such bait. There's no way you can live and they... No. There are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this. As you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Sir, could you like please back up like a foot? You're actually making me uncomfortable. <laughs> this is like uncomfortably close, like because of my, where my monitor is placed. You have sometimes, no idea. Sometimes these things can be a little scary. I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. 
Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Oh no, is this like the blob cards? Why am I wearing gloves? Oh my god, it's cold wind! So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Well, if this was a picture of Ormond, er, Ormond, if a picture of Coldwind, I would tell you I feel uneasy, because that's obviously Fractured Cow Shed, and Fractured Cow Shed is such a shitty map. And you know what? Ugh, I want to see what the other, what I get if I see it makes me happy, because, like, honestly, that's not that threatening. I'm going to just go with left, let's be real. I guess the peacefulness? Because there's not oh. much there. Interesting. It's interesting. So, would it make you happy to spend the whole week here all by yourself? Ooh. Do I get internet? Dr. Hill, do I get internet? Do I get my Twitters and my Twitch? Because if I don't get my streams and it's just no internet, this would be hell. And if I have to live on, like, rural Wi-Fi, I think this is going to be hell. I'm going to say no. I wouldn't mind, like, a day, but not a week. I'd say lonely. There is a fine line between the peacefulness of solitude and the loneliness of isolation. This is something we need to explore further. Don't you agree? I'm afraid we're out of time for now. Until the next session, try to surround yourself with friends. In a place that makes you feel safe. Safe. Smile. Safe. Feel safe. Smile. You're a very interesting man, Dr. Hill. I don't know why you're here, but hopefully you weren't a problem later. Oh no, do I have to worry about copyright music? Oh, I should have looked into this. I should have looked into this beforehand. If I have to delete the VOD, that's going to be very unfortunate. I'll probably export it before I do that. That would be super unfortunate. Uh, uh. That's so all just just so for those who are aware because I never said it at the beginning as well. Today is the one year anniversary. I'm probably only gonna stream like a very short stream a couple hours probably, just because I need to crack sleep. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding? 
hiding there. My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Anthony. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I got to say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me. And I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year. But I just want you all to know um, it means it means so much to me that we're doing this. And that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, you know, thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that... Everybody but like three people were dicks. For, for the sake of my sisters and... Or know, the two guys that were like okay, hanging out in the so main room that didn't join in. Let's they were like the only two like people that weren't assholes. Stars, okay, make this one trip we will never forget, alright? Yes! Yeah, I'm gonna lean towards I need to get rid of this VOD after, that's unfortunate. Blackwood Pines. Memento Mori. Ten hours until dawn. Oh boy. This is gonna be a very long night, isn't it? This is gonna be a very short night. <laughs> Sam, Anna's best friend. At the cable car station. Oh, so I know you can't hear it because it's not being picked up because of where my mic is, but I can actually hear my PS4 just revving from this. What the heck? I'm actually surprised because this is like a really early PS4 game, so the fact that it's revving surprises me. What's this say? What's the note say? Oh, what? The, the gate's busted? It's busted. Climb over. I'd rather be safe about this. We're kind of taking our time with this. No, climb. Just climb. Jumping is just disaster. Plus, if you put your weight on the climb... Then you still have the fallback because, like, you should have three points of contact. Because injuring yourself this early would be silly. Like, I don't get why I need to rush over immediately. Or at least that's my logic for something like this. It's like, 
We're not in a hurry. Hey there, Bella. You hungry? Huh? <laughs> Sweetie. Huh. So that actually vibrates the controller when that happens. And I wasn't sure how sensitive it was going to be. Third objective, head to the cable car station. Oh my god, do I really have to keep track of everybody's relationship status? That's insane. Oh boy. That is going to kill somebody, I swear. Because some of these friends are not friends. What's this? Is this lore? <laughs> cool. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecy. Perhaps you once lived in the mountains. Blah, 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 blah. Black death. Danger. And loss. And then, oh, this is the, um, the statues. Because you got the five. Okay. Whoops, nope. I was trying to figure out what button to press there. So this one's yellow. So this should be guidance. So I assume guidance would mean I'm on the right path? Or whatever that was? Oh, before we go in, I just want to see if there's something right here. I don't expect to be a collectible. I just want to see if it's lore. The past is beyond or control. And apparently it's something else. Graffiti all the way up here. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, well, somebody's bag is here, so let's check that out. You're not in the bag, are you? Hello. What do we have here? Phone's going off. Phone's going off. I would. Has a crush on Ashley. You scared me. I, I'm sorry. Are are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me know. I I can take it from here. It was buzzing, and I assumed it was a ring, and you weren't anywhere near. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here gonna blow your mind wait what's this clue found wanted poster wanted milgram victor you think we'll get a visit from america's most wanted looks like someone thought so oh come on this place is abandoned most of the year wanted first degree arson offense as well as various deaths that he wanted to know and blah 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 1998. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of the ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. You wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. All right. When you're Here carrying goes. a gun, 
There's only one direction you point that shit when you're ac it's actually loaded. And the fact he just casually pointed it literally fucking everywhere pisses me off. What? The What's down here? Bang, bang. Wow, you got a lot of time to aim at this. Wow, nice shooting tips. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go. Oh my God, this guy. Not, I don't think so, girl. This freaking guy. <laughs> Oh, don't shoot the squirrel. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, no, no. We ain't shooting the squirrel. That's fucked up. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Just leaves a gun in the middle of nowhere. Are you? No, no, no. No, no, no. Take that shit with you. What is this? No. This is why y'all are going to die. <laughs> this is why we're going to die. We're just leaving guns in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh wait, since I'm playing this guy, do I get to see his relationships? Yeah. to keep it locked to keep people out he said that what people i i don't know he said they found people sleeping in the station one time it's creepy he found people trying not to die cool i don't know that's i i have mixed opinions in that area i'm not gonna get into it I don't know. I'm just gonna have to keep an eye on him. Must be going through so much in between these. Let me explore. The kind of guy who's not gonna just ask for help, you know. Huh. Neat little poster. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. Family bought a mountain. What's this? Huh? Okay, I. Sorry, look away, but I'm curious on what this is flickering between, because it was flickering. It was pointing at something. It was like the living room or something of the cabin. It was definitely something. It looked like a, like a couch or a pool or something. I guess that camera sees more than it should. Just double checking. Okay, there's nothing here. So get in the car. Just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. Oh, that would make me so nervous. Everyone together. The thought of going into a cable car and you don't even know if somebody's at the other, like at the end there to help yeah, you. He definitely did. I haven't seen him You're just so hoping excited. the Honestly, thing keeps working by itself. Good. Because that is a long way down. <sighs> I hated doing the. No, no, no. I hated doing a gondola, like, even in freaking, like, Banff, and, like, that's not high, high. We're all here, aren't we? 
And by not high, I mean it was only like a hundred feet in the air, which is nerve wracking enough. You know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay, third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. <laughs> Match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Oh, is everybody going to be really obsessed with the butterfly effect? Because that's actually going to be kind of annoying. I don't mind it being mentioned a couple times, but I hope that's not... Everything. Mike's new girlfriend, Jess. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Hey, what else can I see? What else can I see here? This camera is really fixed, by the way. I can't move it. Are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? There you go. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, I'm sick, Chris. Look, got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. You deserve no information. Get that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh, yeah, I, I try not to do that as a rule. Come on, Jess, you can tell Personal rule. Somebody's an asshole, you being an asshole of a stranger does not make Whatever. it any better. You'll figure it out eventually. I know we, I know DVD right, causes right, that interesting effect with people, people, but holy moly, sometimes you gotta let it go. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh -huh. But sadly, that effect does apply. <gasps> Did you see this? The, oh, well, you were an ass to me. I'm gonna be ass to this person. And it just causes this chain reaction of everybody's being an asshole to each other for no reason because one person was an ass to another. Which is an unfortunate effect. Lodge, like, right where the cable car ends. Who invites the ex to the same place? You're asking for death here. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Emily's no BF, Matt. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Poor Matt, stuck with Airing everything. Getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Mike, the asshole. Okay. You guys. 
It's Michael. You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being, you always get like this. I am... Everybody's an asshole. I swear, this is asshole to play through. Oh, I'm just going to be an asshole up. about it. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. I'm not going to tell you again. Do we understand each other? Well, I thought maybe we could move past all this. It buds, but... Yeah, fine. Mike. No, no, no. no this, this is asshole to play through. Like... Be all mature and shit by myself over here. Peace. I think you got the message. Kinda hot when you get all alpha, you know that? Oh my goodness. Oh crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. Just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important. Matt, please. Fine. Fine, you do you. If you want to go die in the woods early, Fine. you do you. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Ashley. Ashley and Chris, oh boy. Oh, can't look up. Oh, Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. They're not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Oh man, are they trying to get back together? No, I'm watching this shit. No, fuck you, I'm watching this. I need to know if I'm helping my boy Matt. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> hey, whoa. <laughs> sorry there. Sorry oh shit, I'm sorry. Scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real. Oh scare my you. gosh! Oh my god! Hey, well, man, I'm I'm really sorry, Ash. Matt, you're about to lose your girl. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with her? I'm gonna be uh, honest as hell. Let me check it out. No. Um. No. Sure. Uh, go, go ahead. No, no, no. If you, if you're pulling your own shit, you'd eat <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Nothing. nothing you think well, yeah. is it ever just nothing with him ever i don't know I what a traitor what a bitch like deal with your relationships what is this bullshit oh my goodness so we literally have four assholes I guess read the book, cause like the phone is just music. It's not like it's actually a. <laughs> oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. Oh, would she have broken her phone if she picked up the phone? Cause that would have sucked. 
beautiful young rebel girl have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Oh, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Thing! Crap. Gotta try harder than that, hero. <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chick? Oh, ah! Oh, hi. Hey! Oh, snap! Oh, it's the bird. Don't hit the bird. Please don't hit the bird. Hello. Come on. Hey, Mike! Boom! Shaka okay. No, you got me. Hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. I am not hitting the bird. There we go. Whoa! Oh. And then what? This game's so mean. It's just like, hey, shoot the squirrel. Hey, kill the bird. What the heck? <laughs> So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right, all right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Ah, uh, grab the snowball. That sounds more fun. Ah! Oh, ho, ho. okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, making up, bud, that requires a kiss, and we have denied you that kiss. Yeah. Oh, no, moi, moi, pretty boy. <laughs> you didn't get any moi, moi. No, moi, moi for you. Welcome back, Doctor. And how are we feeling? Hmm? Well, I, I trust that you have stayed in the company of good friends since our last session. Nah, they've been kind of all jerks. <laughs> this time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Amen. Honestly, planes. Ooh, this is this is actually a hard one. Heights for sure. Heights actually makes me more uncomfortable. Uh, uh. Probably snakes because I can kick a rat. Knives or guns. Knives or guns. Knives. <sighs> Cockroaches. Ooh, it has to be clowns.
Uh, gore. Oh. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Tried you speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instinct, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Fighters. Uh, still gore. Uh, probably clowns. Clowns are still scarier than zombies. Uh, still gore. And still gore. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> Spiders, clowns, an awful. Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> uh oh. Well, I'm afraid once again we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. I was kind of hoping it'd be like end of chapter one or end of chapter two. I didn't think it would like continuously. Keep going like this. Ha! <laughs> Never mind. There it is. Previously on The Walking Dead. Oh my gosh! It literally is. It is literally like episode of The Walking Dead. Previously on episode one of The Walking Dead. I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. Son of a bitch. So I I'm so sorry for Matt. Like, he just shot. did not deserve that. Butterfly effect. Matt didn't deserve that. Chris is an asshole because somebody else was an Matt asshole to him. Gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh, yeah? So it's been two or one hour because it started 10 hours to dawn. So I guess each chapter is about an hour. Well, quote unquote, an hour in for the events. Josh, Hannah and Beth's brother. Come on, you Are you an asshole? Like I <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's an asshole in some way. When are you gonna and I've not even tried to make them. Getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, I, I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, oh, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey guys. Get up here okay? Yeah. Well, more or less, but it was so good to see you. What's up with him? So the guy, Dr. Hill asked me things and I picked yo, yo, yo. spiders, hey, clowns, and yeah, awful, man. awful. Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sis. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just I want us to have a good time, you know? This is Josh. This is a completely different person. You're not here for gossip. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get like, get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Hi, Chris. I'm 
So, how are you doing? Good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Yeah, isn't this the person you have a crush? Then yeah, that sounds like the correct answer. Let's go, bud. Okay, I am controlling Chris still. Wait, what's this? like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that Parker right off of her and what? make some snow angels, right? Huh? Just freaking blindsided me with that. What? It, am I just from the wrong nationality? Why? Why is this a normal conversation? What? I, 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 I'm so, I'm so tempted to pick that up, like, what? No, cut it out. Hey, cut it out, man. Yeah, I mean, if you're not gonna bang her, maybe Michael take up the case. Wait, will you back off on Relax. Already? Just checking to see if there's some blood flowing down there. Have you heard of relationships that don't need a... Listen, dude. Oh, look my around, God. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect... Josh, I, th I had hope for you to be an asshole. <laughs> you and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. Have you heard of relationships that aren't about sex? I don't know, man. How can you not know? But what if it's like weird? And what if she she might like want to be friends with me anymore if I try something like that? Well, I mean, weren't you just listening? You gotta buck up, bro. Grow a pair. Let's keep going. So, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Koshis, or else you got four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh, shoot. Nobody likes cool buns. Oh, man. Is that a fire axe? Oh, it's an axe holder. It doesn't have an axe. Oh, no. Why is there no axe there? Okay, so there seems to be an idea here, but we're gonna try it anyways. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. Push. 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 I'm gonna be too fat for that window, but we're gonna try anyways. So let's be... How many windows are actually done? Ow. Ow, that actually looked like it hurt a lot. Oh, yeah, that looks like it hurts a lot. Pay more attention in climbing class. Oh. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Oh, shit. Did I do that? I don't think so. Here, use this. Here's a lighter. This room might be full of gas, but here you go. Oh, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. What, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray on. It's a can. We're not making oh, a flamethrower. Yeah, now I gotcha. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep. Once we melted, just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye bye, frozen lock. Bingo. Right, I think you uh, might burn the door uh, if it's been You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. Okay, well, first off, I want to see if there's something right here. I am literally on the inside. Have you heard of the thought of, like, you know, just unlocking the door? Why, why are we melting the lock off? 
Oh, hey, look, a thing telling me we're gonna die if we do it. Yeah, that sounds brilliant. Okay. Wow, who would have saw that one coming? It wasn't the L. Shake it, shake it. Just double checking. Okay, that is all nothing. There seems to be two rooms here. Yeah, this is literally the living room, right? Oh, what's this? The painting? Huh? That's cool. Family portrait. That is very dark. Let's not find the bathroom. Let's just. Huh? The hell was that? Is there something right here? No, never mind. <clears throat> yep, here's the living room. Front door. Hi, Chris. <laughs> oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be like getting the lock open or something? On it. Okay, so I actually do have to do something with this. Wait. That's the way I came in, right? Yeah. Can I just turn on the lights, you know? Like... Well, I'd like to be able to see this building. <laughs> There's a lot of roaming for... in the dark. Candle? Candles? There's literally candles. Can I just light those? No? We gotta conserve the wax? Or anything of interest right here? Oh my goodness. Oh! What's this? Oh, it's the TV? That power for the TV? So we just got no power. Well, right now there's no power. We're going up the stairs because I don't know where to keep going. We are going to die, baby. Or we're going to find lore in the dark. This is a good time to find lore is in the dark. At night. We're looking for a bathroom. We are looking for a doorway to a bathroom. Bathroom? Bathroom? Bathroom on the second floor, baby? No? What's this room? What do you call this bedroom? Oh, bathroom? Can we find it? Oh, oh, this is the thing we saw in chapter one. Okay. So the camera, I, I took a sneak, like, this is why I like roaming around, just doing little things like this. So there was a camera at the bottom station that was for the gondola, and it flickered in a room. And I couldn't tell if it was the bathroom or if it was the living room. And it was for the bathroom. So somebody has a camera in this room. Pointing, so... We don't know why they do, but there is a camera in this bathroom. Oh! Get the fuck? Ah. oh my god. <laughs> Perfect. 
I'm so curious if I can get rid of that camera early. Just burned his hand <laughs> casually. Ah, crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It's like a bear or a tiger or something. Oh, it was just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby? Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. So when it gets to a point where like I roam again, I'm just gonna sneak to the owl's room for a minute here. Whenever it gets to a point where I control the character again. Oh, sweet home. Sweet is not the word I use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. God, you must be so rich to have this, though. This house is huge. Even with all the police coming in and out? Not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Make yourself at home, bro. Will do. Yeah, come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. Mike, stay away from our girlfriend. Dude, what are you talking about? Stay away from Emily. Emily? Why would I want anything to do with Emily? Right. Right. I would fully go on to this unless he progresses. It's been a long day. Yeah. Well, try not to lose it again. No point for a full fight here. Not in front of like 18 people or like eight people here. You know? I make a scene. Oh my god, that is so gross. Are you trying to swallow his face whole? Yeah. I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling Miss Homecoming a cow. Em, come on. No, shut up, Matt. Stay out of it, you dumb oaf. Hey, watch it. Oh, you're the only one who can put him down? No one else can play with your toys? You're such a bitch. Whatever. You're all a bitch. I don't give a crap. What Except you Matt. Do. Matt is literally the only one. I know, bitch. On a roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs Unless Matt was in the room recording, then he was an asshole. <laughs> handle. Oh, please. You He's not any better. Bread with your skanky ass. Are you I can't remember who was the one who was recording at the very beginning. For the prank. Mm -hmm. Ooh, um, relationships also this is actually a spot right i'll be right back i realize this is a moment i can actually pause let me give me a second wait that's not the screen i'm gonna need i'm gonna need this one i'm gonna modify it quickly sorry i'll be right back take it to Ezra.
I'm gonna be very honest. I didn't. Sorry, I'm back. I'm gonna. Be, I'm very surprised about this relationship bar for this guy. Look at this. We are literally on a hate train with everyone right now. <laughs> so we gotta tell. Uh, Wait, what's is the white bars what I started at? Is that what it's suggesting? I think that's what it's suggesting. Or is I think so? I'm not too sure. Oh wait. Emily's the GF. Okay. Jessica, you need to shut your mouth. Okay? No. You're the one who needs to keep your nose out of other people's business. I'm about to get right up in your business, you bitch. Are we about to get real? Because I am down to get real. Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. If we can't get along for ten minutes, then maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, all right. You want to go do that? Any place without that whore. It's right up the trail. Well, that's over. Okay, Matt, we're gonna try to find the playthrough where you're the only living being, so, I swear. Uh, <laughs> get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the, the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stiletto? We brought and two bags! While you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. You 100% forgot it. There was two bags, and I took both of them. I had Come two on, bags. Man. We'll be back soon. We Matt, what did you do? We literally left with two bags. Anymore. Okay. Okay, let's go. What the heck happened with the bag? Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. No, the camera's in there. <laughs> I know there's a camera in there. Don't go in there. Somebody's up, up to no good. You literally saw a camera pointed in there. How far is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars. You're gonna need these. Porn star? I'd pay to see it. Uh, gross. I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm Gosh, I swear to God, if you have cameras set up in there already, you have fun with the peanut. Gallery. You need to die too. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Got to fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right, Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay, you want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. Okay, well, first off, I want to see if there's something right here. No. Up and down and up and down. Wait, can I just keep going this way? No. Okay, never mind. Looks like you could. Feels so weird controlling a flashlight like this, by the way. Because this is the right stick. But it's also tank controls of right stick. So... It gets weird when you start doing stuff like that. Like it sort of works, it sort of doesn't work. It's weird. Hey, hot lips. Photo booth. All right, read my mind. Okay. Selfie. Oh, I'm supposed to do it. That's so. Okay, dude, you're... Come 
Come on, give me a smile, love. No, no, no. First off, you gotta stop cringe smiling. You gotta get both of y'all in. Oh my god. <laughs> this is perfect. We're like the cutest couple. Damn. You should be a model. You keep that camera handy, and maybe I'll let you start my but To be fair, photo. Matt smiles like I do, which is just like, it looks awful regardless of your picture. Which is why I hate smiling. It's my least favorite thing to do in a picture, but I'll do it. Because that's what you're supposed to do in this picture. Like, I prefer to smile. But... They're smiling with teeth. Now that's something I can help you with. And how are you gonna do that? Uh, I got a few things in mind. El Hayo HD, how fair is the night? We are currently trying to survive the night. Not a lot of TLC for this place anymore. Kind of a bummer. Private property, Washington Estate. We are currently in what I assume is Chapter 2. Because it literally gave me a Episode 2 of The Walking Dead. Or like... What previously happened on The Walking Dead vibes for a quick recap, which was kind of funny. as dumb as she looks if she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on. Maybe if we're lucky, hey, my hat. follow us out here and get eaten by a bear. Dude, you're a... <sighs> Ow. Thank you for the mail. Okay, so basically... Okay. This guy... Basically is just cheating for Emily. But... He has a relationship with Jess, and this is like really weird. <laughs> I love his relationship with Matt is zero. Just a hard zero. We're with Matt on the other end. He actually has some. That's good to keep in mind. Matt does er Matt does not give a cr er um Mike does not give a crap about Mike. I think you bring out the worst in her. Is that so? Epic jealousy. You can boop without points. Oh no! I know! You found a loophole in the matrix. What about this path? Okay, but what about this path? Is this one just locked and it's gonna tell me to go the other way? Juice or something. No, 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 no. Didn't Josh stay there with a the giant girl? Boop. Boop. <laughs> Boop. Boop. Mike, generator. No, 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 no. Got it. No, no, no. This is more important. Boop. 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 I wish you could generate a little excitement about getting that freaking generator Boop. to work. Boop. Emil I'll just yell Emily. Emily. Like They're not Emily. Jess. There's a very important matter here in my scary video game. And that is the ability to press this button. And I wish I could press it faster. We can press it faster. Ah. Jenny. What's a Jenny? You need to play some Dead by Daylight. Well, because that's what we call generators. We call them Jennies. Hey Mike, this, ma this man does not do DVD. Mike doesn't know what a DVD is because he doesn't know what a generator is. Boop. 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 <laughs> Okay, I got it on my system. That's enough. I saw an opportunity. I had to take it. Boop. 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 Ah, uh, shoot. We gotta right. repair this generator for 90 seconds. See. 90 seconds. Nice one, Mikey. 
No, 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 we gotta wait 90 seconds here. We, we gotta repair it, like... Damn, this man has brand new parts. We're repairing- Oh, hi, uh... Jesus. <laughs> well, am I going to die? Oh, God. Somebody's going to die. Jess is going to die. Jess is going to die. Boop. Zam. The gates shall open. Pretty good, right? <laughs> yeah. Totally. No, that was just awesome. Oh, yeah. I bring the hit. Heard that music off, you're gonna get us killed. Heard the music off, love. You psyched yet? You Heard the music that. off. I am so psyched right now. It's like a little adventure. A sexcapade. Oh my god. These people may, are uncomfortably horny. Can I just kill them all? <laughs> Wait, what's this? Close the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. Well, wherever they are, I'm sure they're happy we're all thinking about them. That's a nice way of thinking about it. Yeah, after you know, bringing her into the room so she ran out of the house because you. Played into being a dick, but yeah, but let's not talk about that. Oh, uh oh, wrong way, wrong way. The camera's got a little, the, the controller got a little funky there. It literally swapped me around. Um, did you hear that? I heard something. Yeah. Am I gonna die? Am I going to die? I don't think we can get up to the cabin with a path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, a.k.a. Wax Museum, to drink hot chocolate with Emily. <laughs> Jess! Oh, my goodness. Fuck. Hey, Jessica! Yep. Hey. Um, okay. Holy crap, you scared the heck out of me. I didn't think I felt. Uh, you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Seven? I, I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. Seven? Well, pushing the cart ain't gonna do anything, because that's, um, you know. Honestly? Sure, push the cart. Right, Jess, there's a cart. I think if you can push it, you can get by. Alright. Okay, let me just try. It's too heavy. How about you lift her? Hey. Dude, how high is this gap? It literally looks like you could just pull her up. Between the cart and the wall? Are you that weak? Because I am. I, I can promise you I am. You know, like shimmy. <laughs> Shit, just... just. <laughs> Shimmy through it. In my physique, but I don't think the ladies are gonna fit. Oh, with the I'm gonna go right. over the cart. Gotcha. Have, have you considered going in the cart? Okay. So, why don't you either toss that light down or, you know, be a hero and jump down here to assist me? All right, don't move. I'm coming in. Better hurry up before some other hunky beefcake gets. <laughs> 
Oh, there was a guy there. Oh my gosh. There was a guy there. Oh my goodness, the guy was literally behind me. I imagined us grunting together. This is not what I pictured. <laughs> I think pushing the light would have been a bad, or giving her the light would have been such a bad idea. But that could have killed Matt. Or I killed Mike, which would, sounds really good. Oh shit. I didn't even see what oh prompt gosh, gave me it. Are you okay? Uh, yep. Yep. I'm fine. <laughs> oh god, you totally ate shit. Thank you. <sighs> Still got my teeth. Uh, that's a plus. <sighs> yes. <gasps> yes. Was this phone buggered? I just saw the phone flicker. I think his phone just got buggered. Not the good kind of willies. Let's go this way. Stairs usually means up. We're trying to get out of here, not in here. Apparently, I gotta be prepared for more prompts. What, you think I, I, where we're just trying to stay? Like, we're just trying to hang out in here all day? Like, what did you think I'm doing by going up? <laughs> we're going up, not down. Jesus. This place is a real fixer-upper. Okay. Danger, 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 danger. Collapsed. Stream rockfall danger. Flood risk. Ooh, flood risk. Sadly, it does not have a you are here, because I would love to know that. Where are we going? Yes, I should be the person in the front, because, you know, I have the flashlight. Wouldn't it be crazy if the person with the flashlight was leading the way and not following? Okay, we're out. We got out. Oop. 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 Okay, so it looks like we got out of there. Cabin. Nice. What's this? Is this literally a... Um, one of those things where you put the people in and trap them. And then they just kind of stay there. I forget what that device is called. Oh, well, we're outside in the... Well, we're heading well, towards the cabin. Josh said cabin, I thought like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> where do you see the Lincoln bedroom? Why is shining this light so hard to keep forward? Take a ride on Air Force One. <laughs> all right, all right. Save it for the stump speech, buddy. Oh, a telescope. Gonna look at the trees. Gonna look at the clouds. Gonna look at the cabin. Um. Whoa. You all right? I just saw someone at the cabin. Huh? What you mean? Oh. I'm assuming this time it's not going to do that again. Oh. Sampling the old eggnog again, babe? It's just us up here. Uh, maybe. 
No, I think you're right on the there's somebody here. What's this? I'm gonna open this for later. I don't think this is the way to the cabin, but I'm gonna open it. Oh, that was the cabin that we're going to. Or am I going the wrong way and we're literally just going backwards? Are we going backwards? Am I stupid? Well, we'll figure out in like a few seconds here if I'm going backwards. <laughs> nope, we're not going backwards. Watch out, bird brain. I was just, just answering his mating call. Wow, you're easy. Yeah, you've got a lot of love to give. Scared. Don't you dare call a bird rat with wings. I will hurt you. I will hate you. So badly. Even though I'm already tempted to hurt you. Because you're kind of a shitty human being. <laughs> Oh, we're here. God damn it, Josh. Couldn't you have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here? <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. She's just gonna high jump the frickin' tree. Oh, boo! Show off. Hey, Mike. You've got something on your face. Oh, snow. El Hyolio, how fast is the night? Okay. Currently on okay. like chapter two. That's how it's gonna be. Uh oh, she's gone. Yes. Yes. Bro. She's dead. She's dead. Demi! Oh, what? she's gonna die too. Oh, so this is something I know because oh, I, I found... Ow, thank you for the mail. Hardy are. Oh, so this is something I found in the first chapter that I was looking around, but apparently, super briefly, the station, or the um, the cameras that were available at the very bottom gondola station, there was a camera that was pointing in this bathroom, so somebody knows about everything that goes on in this bathroom. And it's somewhere up here. It's somewhere here. Which makes me think. I'm actually not too sure where in the room it, that camera would be, but it's somewhere in this general direction. It's either in this corner. Or it's in this corner. Actually, no, wait. Can I see the full room? Can I see the full room? Nah, the game's not going to let me have it, is it? No. Because I definitely... Oh, sorry, I probably didn't fully unmute during the last cough there. And yes, I am still fighting the coughs. But yeah, there's somebody being a creep watching the bathroom. We do know, th we do know that. Wait, what is this camera angle? Please? Oh, there's the stairs. All right. Yeah. yeah, this cabin is stupidly huge. What? Like, this is easily like a $3 million cabin, in, this in my opinion. Because of where it is and how big it is. Those things are a joke, man. Who do shit? And they don't have just one cabin, they apparently have two. Fire up the boiler. It's in the basement. 
Oh, we saw a thing for this earlier. Somebody could die down there. You gotta make sure the gas isn't on or something, I guess. guess so. Rad. Somebody might die down there. You up for a ride along? I think the vision was for downstairs. But I thought that was gonna be much earlier when we were grabbing a can of air spray for the lighter to burn the lock and thaw it out. But, I guess it's gonna be for here. Hey. You notice how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together? Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. They are very sweet together. I wish they'd just freaking get on. So, everybody is super horny for some reason. Ed Dix. Something to bond over, you know, some sort of traumatic event. To send them so apparently, the sex is the an only answer in a relationship. There's not this thing called like forming relationships with people, you know? Crazy thought. Is that a family photo? Yeah, it is. So basically everybody is at this cabin together to quote unquote celebrate the one year anniversary. Or at least just kind of remember the deaths of Hannah and or the two of them. Twist, 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 twist. Wait, bro, didn't you give me the flashlight or you just yoink it and say good enough? You're on your own. Because bro. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought he just left me with the flat without the flashlight. It was just like, you know, Sam. Like really? Yes, Josh. I just wanted to say. Uh, what? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year, and you know that you came, Sam. I would definitely I'll, say it's weird. I'll be honest. It's definitely weird being back. But I think it'll help us all put everything behind us. Um, I want us to have a good time, you know? Gosh, are you killing all of us? Hey, watch your step. Because it's like, it was just you and one other person that was sleeping during this. Like when she, when they died. There was only two people sleeping, everybody else was in on the prank that caused her to run out. Because they were, well sorry, prank. It was literally blackmail material being dicks. Because they were literally trying to get Hat out of the strip in front of all of them, and one of them was literally holding a camera and everything. It was literally blackmail bullshit. To drag you down into the bow. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own, you know? Well, it's definitely. A place to be on your own. I'll take that. What's that doing here? Is that yours? You bet it's mine. I used to play ball with my dad all the time. Of course, that was before he got too busy to hang out with me. Ah, we'll save it for the couch, right? Okay, let me see what I can do with this old hot water machine. Here, can you, can you hold this? Keep the light so I can see, okay? I moved at so little. I can't.
Oh my goodness, this is so long to hold that still. Like, I'm holding it on the table, and it's still, like, trying to beat me. Okay, first things first. Because it, like, vibrates, too. Before we get the boiler fired up. Mm, sounds kind of complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. Okay, I'm just try again. Somebody's gonna die. Uh! Relax. It's not that hard. Just press the button when the light comes okay, on. Okay, okay, oh, okay, I'm actually okay, supposed sorry. to do something. I'm so stupid. Oh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's okay. I'm just try again. I have not. It also high UHD. Ow. Thank you for the mail, by the way. Well, Claus, I sort of watched it because it was some it was being played in the background of my of my family's Christmas party. That's literally how I learned about it. Well, I, I knew about the movie because my mother was like, Oh, you should watch Claus, you should watch Claus. And I'm like, ah, oh, whatever. But I didn't realize it was actually about a post office. So like when I watched the beginning where I'm like, oh my god, yo mail. I'm so sorry, I'm dying and coughing at the same time here. Okay, round three of this. Oh. Hey. hey. Girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> I failed the high five. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> That's an interesting sound. Um, the static is my Elgato, though. No, 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 we ain't splitting up. It's a we. It's going to be a we. What if it's like a pipe that's about to burst or some problem with the furnace? Unlikely. If it were me, I wouldn't want this place to burn down on my watch. Yeah, right. Oh. Chris, you're such a fuck. Oh my god. Why would you do that? There's all this cool old movie crap down here. What was I? Was I not supposed to take advantage of the opportunity? Are you? Are you serious? Were you in on this, putz? <laughs> no, but I, I wish I was. That was too good. I'm ready to admit that your dumb little prank may have a slight whiff. 
joke master. Well, I, I Chris, you're an asshole bastard. are you wearing? I found my true calling. Mm -hmm. Please tell me you're going to take a vow of silence. <laughs> okay, okay. Did you at least find the thingy? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. You know what? You know what? No. no. We just... really playing with a Ouija board. Spooking for one night, okay? I tea a hot bath in my And now I really want to play the video where it's yep. just people mispronouncing the Ouija board where it's like the Ouija board the Luigi board the Waluigi board the we the Luigi board the <laughs> Yo, Dr. Hill, how's it going, my homie? It's this is third time we're meeting. I would like to understand your feelings toward people of fear, isolation, loneliness. Do you share this fear? Why do you have literally all the things that make me uncomfy right here? investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth what you value what you respect in yourself and others which would you say was most important in a person loyalty or honesty honesty but everybody's a dick so you would tell the truth even if it resulted in an unpleasant outcome for a friend. And what about honesty then? And charity? What do you mean by charity? I actually want to know what you mean by charity in this place. Or in this sense. Are you saying that I'd rather... So when it comes to honesty, it's about more truth and just tell, like straight value. But what does charity mean in this case? Does charity mean like giving? Does it mean being kind? Like is honesty being more about being straightforward here rather than being like going like being softer or like trying to be more hinting rather than like straightforward, I guess? Is that what you mean by charity here? I, or are these just two completely random ass variables that you're just comparing for no reason and asking me to compare? Because I just never heard charity in this use. I don't know. I'm going to say I value honesty here because I don't understand the question. Charity is overrated, I suppose. Better to be true to yourself than to help others in need, eh? Oh, that's what you mean by charity. We'll talk again. We're on the help others and I need a cause. Because if he explained it, I probably would have actually picked charity, but I just didn't understand. Previously on The Walking Dead. It was just a prank, Han. It was just a prank, bro dreadful tragedy of Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Boom. Butterfly effect. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me with your sluttiness? Stop it! Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Did you hear that? 
What in God's name are you wearing? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. But watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Well, that's how it's gonna be. Jess? <coughs> Jess! So, it says here, to communicate with the All right, Jess, I forgot I muted myself there. ...of all preconceptions, drop all inhibitions, and generally give yourself over entirely to the will... Time to play with the Waluigi board. Yeah. Spirit master, which is... It doesn't say that. And all present will remove their garments at my sole discretion. Chris, come on, this is serious. So I'm gonna get more water here in the next moment. I can control things because I realized they probably could have done it during that. Let's see what happens. Ashley, since you're a recent convert, why don't you be our medium for today? Okay. Um. I've played Phasmophobia. Actually, I've not ever played Phasmophobia. <laughs> I know you can bring one of these though. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you do that? I didn't do anything. It's moving again. <laughs> H? What's it spelling? Hold on. How's this happening? Are you moving it? I swear it's just moving. Oh shit. Help? How are we supposed to help? I don't know. What does it mean? We need to know Somebody got a magnet on me because you could do that too for this trick. Can we help you? <laughs> it's moving again. Whoa. What's it spelling? War. It's moving fast. Warning. Shit. Oh my god. Warning? I think we uh, really need to find out who's trying to communicate with us. No. Nah, we don't care who this what is. Are you warning us about? Okay, S. I. S. T. E. R. Sister. Sister? Whose sister? Oh, come on. Is this for real? Shut up. Ask it whose sister. Josh, it's, it's gotta be. Yeah, okay, well, which sister is it then? Ashley, ask who it is. Are we speaking to Beth? Is that you? Oh God! Oh, <laughs> this is messed up. Josh, are you I'm fine? Are you sure? Because we can stop. No, dude, it, it's cool. I want to hear what it says. I don't know where to start. Think about it. If if this is actually Beth, I mean, we can find out what happened that night. Um, let me think. Beth, we want to know what happened to you that night. Can you tell us? H A N N? It's spelling Hannah. Wait, it's still going. K I L L. Oh my god. Killed. Guys, guys, what's she talking about? I don't know if I can keep doing this. We have to. Just, just, just stay calm. I, I think it's saying that someone killed Hannah. I don't know. I just a ask it something else. All right. I don't care how she died. I'd be more curious on who killed her. somehow going to help me deal with my grief or whatever, but this is not cool. Josh, no! You wanted to use the spirit board! Hey, hey calm down. It's, it's not actually. I don't need this right now, okay? You guys are full of it. Sh should we go after him? Ah, man. I, I mean, he'll be okay. Let's 
Let's just give him some time. I don't blame him. That was crazy. The pointer flew right off the table. And if, if you were faking it, if you were doing one hell of a job. I wasn't faking anything. I think we should do what it says. We should look in the library. Oh, dang, we're back here. Okay. Jess! Go, boy, go. She screamed, she's dying. Jess, where did you go? This is not funny. Jess! Buddy, you in there? Boom! Ah! Whoa! Christ! Fucking hate jump scares. I scared the blue out of my jeans. What the hell is that doing in there anyway? Why? Jessica, Why? <gasps> there are two different paths? There's one here. Where does this path lead? Jess? Hun? Light oh, my it's got a totem. What you got for me, totem? Danger? Seriously? This is not funny. Wait, is that the only thing that's up here? This is a whole alternate path just for a totem? Interesting. Well, that's cool, because it's a collectible. But it also tells you if you're quote unquote on the right track for something. I don't really have the intention of doing multiple playthroughs, but it is a neat feature. It's supposed to help you. I totally promise I won't murder you when I find oh. you. Oh! Oh my, oh my god. No. <laughs> that was so good. Not, no. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You had to see this. You had to I'm not seeing it. No. 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 <laughs> you recorded that? <laughs> Look at your face. <laughs> I was scared, oh Jed. You can't just jump out at somebody. I'm in the middle of the woods. It's scary. I'm sorry, Jed. I'm scared. Yeah. Oh, this, this whole cast, I swear to God, everybody's an asshole. <laughs> what the? I didn't know you had such a cute little lady like scream, Michael. <laughs> Guess you never really know someone until you've scared the pants off of them. All right, fine. You win. It's not a contest. But I do win. Every time. Uh-huh. Whatever you say, babe. <laughs> oh, keep on crying, Romeo. See where it gets uh, you. What's seeing us? Oh, it's another totem. That's two totems back to back. That's not good to see. Guidance. Interesting. Not too sure where we're going with that. Also, I don't know if I'm heading back or not, or if I'm heading forward. Am I going forward? Am I going back? I am legitimately getting lost. Getting lost in the woods. Literally. And can I see something that implies I'm going the right way, please? I think I am. Maybe? Oh my goodness. You could easily get lost in the woods here. What's this path then? I see like a little bench. What's over here? I 
we haven't crossed a bridge. Oh. Hello, what's this? Well, well, well. Look at this fun little lovebird carving. M and E. Matt and Emily. An M and an E. Any idea what that could stand for? Oh, could be any, you know, Elizabeth and, and Myron. <laughs> or maybe Michael and Emily? Relax. I just didn't realize you were so sappy. Pun intended. Hey, I may look like a tough and rugged manly man on the exterior, but deep down, I'm the touch of my family. I'm not afraid to show a little affection now and again. Oh, yeah? You gonna show me some affection later? Girl, all kinds of affection. Oh, is that a check I can cash? Wink. Let's go, Casanova. I think I'm on the right path, but I also feel like I just went in a circle unintentionally. Did I go in a circle unintentionally? <laughs> I have no idea. Wait. Maybe we did. But we found a new totem in the process. That's the same totem. I'm stupid. And what's across this bridge? What's across the bridge? What? What? what what's across the bridge? Okay, I guess we can't go across the bridge. What? What do you? I I hate this game. I was literally trying to go up that. Oh shoot, I'm losing f frames. I'm sorry. That probably looks extra choppy, I'm sorry. This is not saying I'm dropping frames, but I can definitely see it was struggling there for a moment. Actually, I'm gonna just close paint. We're not gonna use that today. Yeah, I'll close down paint. And then I'm going to hope that OBS just relaxes a little. No, no, no. Maybe I'm going in elaborate squares. You don't know I'm not doing squares. Oh, Jesus. That thing almost killed us. Okay, let's not do that again. That was a bad prompt. That was a very bad prompt. Holy smokes, we're finally at the place. I love it. Yeah. That was a lot of effort for this tiny ass shack. <laughs> Old mask. Other things are in there. There was two prompt thingies in here, I thought. 
Okay, maybe it was just the one. I thought there was two things in there. Right, let's keep moving. Oh, wait, actually? Sorry, I'm going to get up for a second here. This is actually a good moment. Let me get up. We're going to get up for a moment. I'm going to get some marred water for hydration for the rest of the night because I got no more water here. So I'd like to get a couple more glasses. And I might also get a stack here. So I'll be right back in a minute or so. Let me just put on some music again because this scene does not have really any music. So I'll be right back.
Sorry, I'm back. I'm just snacking. <laughs> but yes, let's get back. And also, I didn't realize there's a little thing up here. And let me turn up this music as well. Um, um. Okay. All right, all right. So apparently, there's a thing for butterfly effect. I didn't notice this. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to look at that. That feels like it's going to partially spoil things. Oh, there's a lot of things here. Some stuff about the twins. Apparently things about 1952. Don't know about that. And Mystery Man. And then the totems. But yeah, we have to find a fortune totem, though. So hopefully we find one of those soon, even though it doesn't matter to me if we find them, but if we do, that'd be cool. Oh. <laughs> Screw you jump scares, I... F God, I hate jump scares, they're so cheap. What? That that was the weirdest camera angle. Excuse me. Yep, let's go towards the thing that's dead there. Oh, it's got burned. It's horrible. I got burned to hell. soon. Okay, buddy. It'll be over soon. Ah! Ah! Run! Run! Oh my god, what the hell was that? I don't know! Oh, there's a friend! Over here, over here! Mike! Get Did something pull it? <laughs> oh, something pulled it. Oh, shit. Go, 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 go. Get the hell out of there. Grabbing Jessica made no sense because you still have to get the key, so getting her up doesn't help. This is a twist doorknob. We're gonna be okay. Bear or anything else, you're gonna open that cabin door. I guess you're right. Okay, I'm almost feeling relaxed again. Almost. Huh. Typical. Uh, this is not the cozy chalet I was promised, Mike. Yeah, it's a bit cramped here, something right. Well, there is a fireplace. That was a lot of butterfly effects updated. I am a lady, and a lady needs a proper romantic setting. Okay. Or did it not flicker for you guys up there? So, like, it just kept flickering. Atmospheric mood lighting. Right. It'll get plenty toasty once we're rubbing up against each other. 
Mike. Yeah. Fire and mood lighting. Yes. My lady. <sighs> Tips Fedora. <laughs> This will lighten up the mood a little. Oh! Hey, why are you okay? What are you doing? Oh, the fuse box is dead. The lights. I know it's the lights, dummy. You broke them. <laughs> but it's probably faulty wiring or something. You've got faulty wiring. Your mama has faulty wiring. NS photo. And I'm winning bronze Alberta Invitational 2013. Wait, are we in Canada? Or did she just go to Canada? Unless you want to make out with an ice sculpture, I suggest you get a fire going. Pronto. Just shut the fuck up for a minute. I am exploring. I am looking for lore here. And lore is more important than your damn fire. <laughs> Have a Petra? Oh, it doesn't flip. Okay. Oh. You're lighting a fire, Michael. Not writing a novel. How much longer is it gonna take you? I am oh, reading man. a novel. Thank you very much. These guys are inventive. Oh god, this is like a full novel, isn't it? Oh, nope, nope, nope. Close the novel, close the novel, close the novel. Close the novel, close the novel. Oh, no, nope, 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 nope. nope. <laughs> I just realized I was on the picture. in there, Mike? Come on. <sighs> ah, Mike, you're wrecking the whole place. Okay, well, we found everything we could in there. What other, what other rooms are there? Oh, your phone. Yes. Slow down. What is gone? My freaking phone, Sherlock. Can you find it? Oh, crap. No. I think I you dr it outside. Oh. Was that when we were running across the bridge and I it can't slipped? Lose my phone. My parents will kill me. You can always get a new one. That's like my fourth one this year. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll Well, your phone ain't here. I can tell you that. It's got to be outside. Yeah. I Fine. Oh, is that a matchbox? Yes, it is. Looky, looky. Who's gonna fire up some nookie? You've been dying to use that line since we got here, haven't you? But oh, what's this? Oh, yes. Just a hunting rifle. Yes. Don't do Can that. Fire? No. Oh, okay, cooler. that's safe. You could show it, but don't you point that at people. That's fucked up. That is gets gun safety. Yeah, you can do that. Don't do that. Don't point it down. Why do guns make men go completely bonkers? Nothing. No, 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 stop that. I shall never understand what we have. Keep it upright only if you're not using it. Oh, so you're supposed to make sure that if it's check and see if it's loaded every time you're handed the gun and every time you pick up the gun. 
Native American myths and legends. I am not going to spend forever reading this. I'm just... Yeah, that... Nope. No, we got no time for reading. We're, we're getting coochie here. We're trying to get some coochie. Oh my goodness. Oh, I got to push up then do it. Oh man, you open that with a lot of force, don't you? Man one, fire zero. Very nice. Imagine getting wood that actually burns that fast. Right. Usually, you gotta get like a little fire starter or like a little bit of wool or something. You gotta like burn. I think. Cause I remember when we. Used to be a, a cabin when I was younger. We were trying to do that with wood, and we just couldn't get to go because it was so dry. And it took us like a good like two hours to try to get some freaking wood to burn because we didn't know any better. Well, actually, about an hour I think it was actually because we just couldn't get going, and then we finally got like a small fire going to use to get it to start burning the dry wood. Mike, the shutters. What about them? Um, close them, please. <laughs> There's no one out there. But what if the like bears you want to watch? Like it. Come on, yeah. Jess. Bears like good content. Let I the bears enjoy it too. Like it. I'm sorry, bears. You're not allowed to watch the coochie. <laughs> Voila. Shutters are shuttered. Now, where were we? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think I'm a little freaked out, and it's hard for me to, like, keep this up, and... What? You, you were. Look. I act all super confident and like a total sexy babe and everything, but underneath, I gotta be honest, I'm really kind of insecure. Oh, come on. What? Don't give me all this scaredy cat little girl BS. Uh, it's true. <laughs> Sounds complicated. Oh, maybe I'm complicated. Great. What? I thought you were a. a I thought you. I were chose a the wrong thing. <laughs> sort of girl. What's that supposed to mean? That I'm easy? No, 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 no. I mean, just that you're not complicated. Oh, Michael. You're kind of a dick, you know that? I mean, he is a dick, Pardon but me, wasn't the option I was intending. He's, he's just a dick in general. Come here. He's a dick to everybody but his lover. That's literally what I he's supposed to be. You too. I am definitely ready to be handled. Huh. Uh-oh. What? Get the gun. What is that? I don't know. Okay, well, go find out now, please. First off, we're taking the gun. Yep. 
Give me the gun. Give me the gun. Give me the gun. No, give me the gun. Give, 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 give gun. Give gun. 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 Please. Give me the gun. <laughs> I already took down the curtain, so let's see what it is. Oh, shattered window. Wait, is that her phone? She lost that phone so far outside. It's your phone. What? How is it my phone? I don't know, it just came through the window. Oh my god. Oh fuck sake, god damn it. What? Those goddamn assholes probably followed us out here to fuck with us and just when we were getting down to business. <sighs> don't go outside! Hey. Yeah, pricks! That means you! Oh, she's gonna die. Get back in. Well, guess what? You can't. You can't ruin our good time because Michael and I are gonna fuck. That's right. We are gonna have sex and it's gonna be hot. So enjoy it because I know we're going to. Uh... <laughs> oh! Do you really think the girls were Well, she did. I don't know. I don't know if I wish they were or if I wish they weren't. I guess we should find out. Holy shit, she's dead. I thought she was gonna get like ripped out like the beginning, not when she's like in the building. Josh looked really freaked out at the seance. Yeah, I mean, he, he looked like he was keeping it together, but. Do you think we shouldn't have mentioned his sisters? It's why we came back up here. Yeah, but not to like have a seance. Maybe we went too far. <laughs> Holy crap! Are you okay? I think so. Ah, suspicious. Look. What? There was something behind the box. It's a button. Is, is it a button? Why would there be a button? That's a good question. Should I push it? That's yes. For four, I guess. Uh, shit. Uh, shit. Boop. Oh, that opens. That explodes. Are we like in a movie right now? If we are, I hope it's a rom com. Leave it to the Washingtons to have secret passages in their house. I mean, maybe they didn't even know this place is super old. So, should we take a look? Yeah, after you. No, 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 no. You go. Gee, thanks. Anything else in this room I need before we leave? Anything? Anything? Nope. Off we go then. Oh! Fuck you, spider. Fuck you, spider. Whoa. What? Whoa, is what this... did you find? Can I flip it? I will take them and bleed them like pigs and rip their soft white skin off. Fuck you. Oh my goodness. I, I don't want to freak you out, but but look at this. What? Chris, what is that? I I think this might be what the spirit board wanted us to find. The clue? Yeah, it's a letter. Let me see it. It 
it's a, a threat. Chris, this is serious. We need to find Josh right now. I feel like it's a setup when you literally have a camera in there. Oh, not creepy at all. Random door open. You know what? Let's go say hi to the random door. What was that? Hello, random door opening. Oh, what's this? Do you think someone was actually after Hannah and Beth? If so. Dear CJ Swaffone, race and ethnicity, yada yada, thank you for your response. Looks like it was written by Josh's mom. Yeah, she's really making an effort to set things right with some native tribe or something. Yep, the bad karma goes back a long way. Well, I could leave, but that's not what we're doing. Sam. What? It, there was like this wanted poster, like full on Western style, you know? So? And Sam really thought there was someone following her around. So, so what you're saying, there's some criminal up on the mountain with us? And then I found that crazy psycho letter. Chris, if this is your way of trying to make me feel better, you're fired. <laughs> you hear that? That was Josh! Coming from the kitchen. Oh. Josh! Josh! Oh. Coming! Hold on! Ah. Ashley! Ashley, what's going on? Do it again! Ashley! I'm gonna... Ash? Ash! Ah, hey. oh, shit. shit maybe I should have went out the door rip Hello again. I'm going to show you some uh, pictures of people that you have come to know. as you pretend to. Well, this is an exercise in honesty. Tell me which person from each pair you like the most. Take your time. Your answers are important. Which of these people do you like I want to die? I prefer Josh. Because he's not an asshole. <laughs> Both of these people is a, people of them are fucking assholes. Uh Matt. Um, Ashley. Chris is a big bigger asshole, I think.
Honestly, I feel like Mike didn't do that much to be a prick. It was Mike or Matt. Ooh, good question. Who do I like more out of these two? Oh, wait, this is Sam. Never mind. I actually prefer Jess more than Chris. <laughs> I hate both these bastards, but I hate Matt more. I just screwed this up, Mike. I have a strong dislike for Emily at the moment, though. Holy moly. But Chris is just a, like a weird asshole. about him justifies the terrible trauma that he'll soon go through. Now, why would you think that? No. Time's up. Come back soon. We'll talk again. Perhaps in the meantime, you can try to figure that one out for yourself. This gets creepier and creepier. Oh, so I'm sorry, I get about static again. Previously on The Walking Dawn. Hold on! There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. I'm just surprised Apparently, that they always start from the beginning for this every time. And claim the land was sacred to his forefathers. S. I. S. T. Sister? Ask it whose sister. Josh, it's... It's gotta be. Which sister is it then? Ah! Run! Oh. Oh. oh my god. Ash! Hey! Ooh. Come here. Maybe I know how to handle you too. Ah! Get the gun! Oh, what the fuck? Jessica! Oh my god! Oh my god! Jess! Jess! We're taking any risky path. You need to get her. Risk. Oh, whoops. Keep going. No! Ah, oh, fuck me. That probably screwed up the whole thing. I'm assuming you got a perfect that.
Jessica, I'm coming. I'm coming. Jessica! Oh, Mary Albus to you, Shadow. Just kind of getting into the moment here. Basically, a thing ripped her out of the building. And we're chasing it. It's got Jessica. I think I'm still following the right path. Oh, I fucked up. Oh shit, she's alive. Help. She is not alive, never mind. I have no clue what we shot. I hope it wasn't another person. Oh god, these are quick. Okay. Okay. You got this. Shit. There he is. Oh, he's out of ammo. Fuck. It's a one shot. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Take it easy. Not so fast, cowboy. Don't die in here. Play a lamp. Oh. 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 Oh.
Ashley. Oh. Got fucking lammed. Oh, that mark on your head. Ash. Holy shit. Ash. <clears throat> Good. Not good at all. Okay. Oh, jeez. Well, you got one of those big freaking flashlights. The big boys. The oh, blood splatter? Oof. Ah, jeez. Uh oh. Ash. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ash is dead. Ashley is dead. Ashley is dead. Ash is dead. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's dead. Ashley? Anyone out there, Ashley? What's this way? <clears throat> nope, nothing there. Oh yeah, I could just lost you in a stretch. Uh, oh. Ugh. 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 Yeah. And then her up and her down. And her up and a down. Up and down. Up and down. And zoom. And up and down. And up. Down. And up. Left and right and left. Right and left and right. Okay, I'm gonna get myself back there. We're in an important moment of trying to find Ashley. Wait, go back. Can I go through that gap? There's a gap right here. Is this a way? No, it's not a way. That is not the way. Oh, so I think the next, the next chapter Ash. we hit, I think Ash. is when I'm gonna stop. Ash. That'll probably be a good stopping point, because I know apparently a playthrough is about eight hours, so. But I'm also really tired, so we can finish it off Ashley? the next stream. I didn't get the greatest of sleeps, and I got a wick on Boxing Day. I still wanted to do a stream, so. Ash. But we'll see where we get for this. I do want to continue it. I think it's okay. it's an okay game. Are you in here? Ashley! Oh shit, she is in here. Red. Uh, Ash, I'm here. Ash. Oh. God damn it. Please help me. Uh, I'm coming, Ash. Just uh, just keep talking to me. What happened? Chris, tied me up. I can't. Oh shit. Hello, and thank you all for joining me. Tonight, we're going to conduct a little experiment, sort of test. Now, for this experiment, we'll need the cooperation of our two test subjects, Joshua and Ashley. But we're going to need one more brave participant to help decide which subject will live and which will die. Please, please, everyone calm down. 
It's all very simple. Christopher, you will find a lever placed directly in front of you. All you have to do is choose who you will save. Okay, 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 this is gonna be okay. Oh, oh dude, buddy, oh let's just think God. about this for Grant, a minute. You can't let me die. Just give me a second. I, 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 uh, huh? I can't think straight. Just, huh? Okay, but that machine is set up so it doesn't go a direction. So wouldn't the answer be just not do it? But that's not an option here. I literally saw the track and it's not pointing a direction. This experiment literally dies because the saw can't go forward enough to kill both. This is bullshit. <laughs> He literally said nothing. He didn't say what happens if you did nothing. It literally is the track isn't it pointing at somebody. It's not even like, oh, well, if you don't do it, well, it'll default to Josh or default to Ashley. Like, it's not even pointed in a direction right now. Like, it would literally get stuck in the middle. It would literally kill nobody right now. Why am I killing Josh? He's the only not asshole from the beginning of the game. Literally everybody else was in on the prank or the quote unquote prank of blackmail. Like. Why would I save Josh? Why would I save Josh? Oh, I guess the answer is because this guy has a freaking crush on Ashley. You want to play lore accurate because like literally his relationship is all Ashley. But you can also argue that there's a relationship of Josh here because he's actually even. And if I remember. Wasn't Chris the other guy that was asleep at the very beginning? Shadow, you're so mean. What the fuck? Yeah, you know how you're like. Your family died here? Yeah, you're gonna go join them. What the fuck? Oh. Uh. Do I go for the lore accurate play or do I go for my personal? I think we go for the lore. Ashley, I'll get you out of this. I won't let you die. Thank you. No. Yeah, see, it's not even this pointing isn't a direction. I'm not. I'm. I'm pushing done. I'm gonna watch where it goes. It is literally moving forward. I refuse to believe that it won't just stop, stay and do nothing. That track is literally not pointing it in a direction. I refuse to believe that if I do anything, it won't stop. Just stop. I refuse to believe. No, we're watching this. I refuse to believe this doesn't just get stuck. I see. You've chosen to save Ashley. What? Oh, no, 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 I didn't no, 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 anything. Why would you do this? I didn't even push it, you prick. Why would you do this? Oh, my God. Oh. No, 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 Dad, don't, don't, don't look, Ashley. Why don't can't look. I look? Please tell me he's okay, please. Oh. I'm coming, Ashley. I'm, I'm gonna get you. I'm letting you down. Shh, 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 stop, please. Come on, come on, let's, let's, let's no. get you down. Come on, we're gonna get you out of here. No! You gotta go, okay? <laughs> I didn't kill him the psycho did. I literally didn't push the lever. I was right Chris. though. It was going to point at nothing. And he's like, Ashley. I have made your decision for you. Because I literally did not pull that lever. It's the lever was in the middle. Are you okay? 
I made the one comment, and then it was like, hey, you can just not pull the lever. Or you can just change your mind. What are you talking about? Maniac. Oh my god, we gotta get out of here. I don't understand what happened. There's a maniac, and he was, there was a saw, and it was either him or Ash, and I, I didn't know what to do. It cut right through him, and spilled it out fucking everywhere. What? Oh my god, Chris, what? And I, I killed him. Oh, I, I, I killed him. It was my fault, man. No, no, this is insane. We need to go get some help. We cut right in half. We're gonna figure this out. <laughs> Matt, we need to go get help now. And we should look for the others. Mike and Jess are off 69ing each other, and who knows where Sam is. I think she's in the lodge. Fine. Fine, you're right. Get everyone else together, but if there's a maniac running around, I think we need to get some help, too, right? Not just wait around. But what about... Why are we still talking about this? Let's go! Ah, uh, jeez. Or is this where I'm gonna get Walking Dead? Nope. Oh. Hello again. Things are getting pretty tense up there, aren't they? Is the night going the way you hoped it would? <sighs> I see. And do you think that these poor people are getting what they deserve? I know who you are, but what do you want? Previously on The Walking Dead. Okay, so when it hits the end of this, this is oh, thank you for the head pets. When we hit the next moment where it like lets me sit, I'm going to stop there. I know this is, I think this is auto saving anyways. But otherwise, I do have somebody in mind, and we're gonna go raid them on Christmas, even though it's Boxing Day technically now for me. Chapter five. Oh, is this That's the moment? Good. That's really not good. Oh, dang. He's got some doggies. He unlocked it. He didn't do anything with it. Damn it. All right. Let's get a closer look. Uh, 
Yeah, you've eaten a lot of shit here to get here. <laughs> Okay, this is where we're going to. Okay, so I guess it auto saves because there's just a resume. There's no like leave or anything like that. So this is actually a good stopping point. So with that, thank you all for coming. I'm Sarah the Elf. I do appreciate y'all coming to hang out with me on Christmas. That does mean a lot to me. Sorry, I'm dying on the end on the side here. I'm just pulling up which stuff here. If you want to join me on a raid, we're going to go raid our good old cat friend Dusty. I can see he's still playing Celeste. Or at least I'm pretty sure he's still playing Celeste. So feel free to join me on raiding our cat made boy. But otherwise, I love you all. I'll catch you all later. We'll probably continue this again. We'll probably do it on next Sunday. I don't know if I'll finish this, but we'll see how far we get. Or at least that's how I see it. We'll see how far we get. If we can finish it on the next Sunday, that'd be cool. If not, oh well, we can do a little session somewhere along the way and then go back to our normal sessions of DVD. But otherwise, I love you all and I'll see you. You all later. Do, 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 do. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> mwah. Mwah, 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 mwah. Mwah. Wait, I need Dusty on my screen too. See you all later. Mwah. Go. Go, go, go.